What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here, I want to welcome you guys back to Terminator Resistance, moving on to the next chapter now, hopefully you guys are enjoying this let's play so far, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button, it helps out a lot, without any further ado, let's jump in to the next mission. Okay, my bad, sorry, I didn't even recognize the place, we're actually in the hideout, I was, I was thinking we were going back to the Resistance location. Talk to Jennifer, I think that's all we have to go to, so let's head downstairs. What's up? Jacob, how is Pasadena? Uh, you know what? Forget I asked. I don't want to know. I'm just glad that you're all right. And how are you doing? I guess I'm a little nervous before tomorrow. Have you decided what you're going to do? I, I never asked you. What are you planning to do tomorrow? I've been meaning to tell you earlier, but I panicked. And that's because... I decided to go with Ryan. We'll find somewhere safe, away from all this. You have to understand, I need to do what's best for Patrick. I'm his big sis. I need to protect him. I... I haven't told him yet. He'll be devastated leaving you and Aaron, but I think it's for the best. Are you curious? Oh, I don't have to say it. Aren't you curious about what happened in Pasadena? No. I think I'd rather keep that place in the past. Actually, I have a confession to make. I've never been outside of Pasadena until now. Can you believe that? After all, that's where your home is. But that's not surprising. After all, that's where your home is. Where it used to be. Right now, I'm going to try someplace new to call home. I did my traveling through pictures and postcards that wanderers brought with them. My favorite had a little flamingo drinking water from a lake on it. Its long red neck curved like a snake. Patrick's mother gave me that postcard. Hmm. It's funny how I never met my mother, but I was around to see Patrick's leave him. I'm sorry to hear about your mother. Don't be. I had a pretty good childhood, apart from the nuclear holocaust and all. I remember the day Patrick's mom brought him in. They were both tired and dirty, so we took care of them. Patrick was crying a lot. He was teething at the time. I think that was what scared her away. She just couldn't handle the crying. I guess I'd be scared, yeah. I guess I'd be scared, too. Would you? You seem so composed. I even started wondering if you were a machine yourself. After she took off, I was devastated. But my father said, You need to grow up. You have a brother now. So I burned the postcard. The little red flamingo flew up in flames. And I promised myself I'd never be weak again. But... I guess we all need someone we can be weak with sometimes, don't we? Alright, well, let's go to sleep, man. Take, kick your feet up, you know? Take a little nappy nap. Wake up! We need to move. What? What's going on? Everyone, wake up! You need to get out of here. Who the fuck are you? It doesn't matter. What matters is that you can't stay here any longer. She asks a question, and I suggest answering. You don't want to do that. I've got this place rigged with explosives, and there's a detonator in my pocket. You got what? Do you mind? Lower your gun, Ryan. He's the one that saved my life. What do you want from us? You have to get out of here. Skynet's on its way. They finally found you. What you mean, they found us? They were looking for us? Not for you. For him. He's essential to winning this war. Skynet knows that. That's why they've been following him for months. I have to make sure nothing happens to him. In a couple of minutes, an infiltrator will walk in here trying to kill him. I can't let that happen. We have to bury that Terminator here once and for all. 
All right, everybody, you heard him. Let's get moving. I'll get the bus ready. There's no time for that. There's a passage here. It will lead you out. Use it. <gasps> what was that? All right, everyone, get out! Jacob! Give me that. It's the same one. It's the same model. Leave! Now! How the hell's he still alive? Go! 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 Watch out! Don't just stand there! Run! Baron, listen to us. She could no longer deny that this infiltrator was a real threat. She decided to take everyone in, on her terms. The shelter was on high alert, but thanks to the intel I gathered in Pasadena, we slowed the advance of the Annihilation Line and gained some time. Just enough to start preparing the counterattack. Alright, where are we now? We're in the, well, they're in the resistance hideout, right? Okay. Two skill points. Yeah, boy. I like how they're starting to give us two. Alright, what did I say I wanted? Um, I could... Uh, backpack, what do I want? Science. Lock picking three, hacking. I can... Well, I think I should do weapons three. Inflict 50% more damage using plasma. Critical damage. Oh my god, that's going to be amazing. Maybe I should do a stealth boost too. Or should I do a... No, I've already got the max toughness. I got to be a level what? 18 for the level 4s. So I still have a few more levels, right? So... What if I should do the hacking and lock picking? I'm going to do stealth 3. Let's do that. There you go, let's get those. And then the next ones... I think I'll do hacking and lock picking 3. Because by then, well, we'll almost be a level 18, right? So, go look at it that way. Okay, let's go. Members of the re. Re, 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 resistance. Sergeant. At ease. Well, look at you, Sergeant. When you helped us in Pasadena the other day, I was trying really hard not to panic because you were only a private. Sorry for underestimating you. I guess I should salute or something? How's Patrick? Every day a little better. Aaron says he'll be back on his feet in no time. She's done a great job with him. I wish I could repay her somehow. It just doesn't seem that she needs anything. Getting ready for another scavenging run? No, I just came out here to catch my breath. Baron is giving us the entire evening off, believe it or not. Doesn't sound like her. I need to report to Baron. All right, well, anyways. Hello? Hello? Here. Rivers, DN46890. Sorry, dude. The commander is expecting you in the control room, Sergeant. Thanks. I, I guess, um... Marachino Cherry. I don't get it. Why don't they bring that buggy cat? What's up? How I'm you doing, man? I'm going out soon. I haven't made my daily quota yet. I still have three more rats to catch. If you see one, let me know, okay? Hey. I'm just catching up with Mark. I'll get back to work in a couple of minutes. You won't tell, right? Uh, but, but no, seriously, you won't tell, right? Thought they were gonna have to make us uh, do something about it. Do you need anything? Let's see what he's got, honestly. Can I see your hardware? Holy, look at that. Rayoplasma. I don't think we should buy that until... Wait a minute.
Okay, hold on. I have a lot of money. I haven't been buying anything. There's just been no need, right? Here's what we're going to do. Uh, this is going to go here. I'd like to upgrade this. Fire rate. So it looks like I can do, what do we think? Stability, maybe? Or boost the fire rate. Clips bigger. We'll do the fire rate here. Um, once we do this, and I do stability here. And I need a three on the right. Nothing. So that's not going to work. Let's do this here. And then this, maybe? No, that's a double. See, they don't just let you grab whichever one you want. Uh, you have to hope that it matches. Square left, three right. A little damage boost. Why not? Nice. Not too bad. The damage on it is immense. I gotta start using that weapon. It's probably gonna send it. Thanks, man. Quartermaster always says something to say. Let's open the map real fast. Patrick and Aaron have something to say. So I'll go talk to them real quick. Hey. Are you alright? Me? Honey, I'm about the most well-adjusted person in this goddamn place. It's the others you should be concerned about. You mean Ryan? Ryan ain't so hot either, but that's another story. <clears throat> Jennifer? I'm worried about her. I'm the one that asked Baron to give her team a little break. Jennifer's been busy scavenging supplies for the soldiers, and she hardly had time to see Patrick. And now she's finally got a day off. She's avoiding him like the... It wouldn't kill you if you checked on him yourself. Is there anything you need? Kill you if you checked on him yourself. Is there anything you need? No. I have to say, the resistance is pretty well supplied. Don't tell me you miss running errands for me. I don't believe that for a second. And what about something other than medicine? Honey, I'm not shy. I'll let you know if I need anything, okay? But thank you for asking. Take care. All right, she's done. Let's go have a word with Patty. Oh, no, Patrick. Wait, Patrick? There. How are you doing? Good. Aaron's going to let me leave in a couple of days. Thanks for bringing that chalk. I've been drawing a lot. I'd be so bored without it. How do you like living in the shelter? There's a lot of people here. I like that. I heard a funny joke yesterday. You want to hear it? Yeah, tell me. What's brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> That's funny. I know, right? Not really. How's Jennifer? She's out a lot, but I understand. She's a scavenger. I have to go. All right, well. Everyone seems to appreciate... See, I'm trying to appreciate everybody's stuff. Jeez, I thought her elbow was, like, messed up. I thought it was her hand, and she was, like, somehow pointing at Alton me. Alton lost his spider scout again. Man, I saw it crawling through the shelter earlier. I was giving me a heart attack. John Connor. Commander Baron, I was very pleased to read the mission report from Pasadena. You are probably aware of this, but it is essential that we mobilize all the troops in your area and abandon all level 3 outposts. I understand the consequences and will take full responsibility for this. As for Private Rivers, I believe he deserves recognition for his actions. Perhaps a promotion is in order. I'll leave that decision to you. I want you to keep him close. John Connor himself signed that, bro. See me. You're finally here. You're finally here. Good. I have a special task for you. I want you to head downtown to check on the doctor. Doctor? Alvin. He's out there making sure that our defense systems are working properly. Ever since we went radio silent, I had a small team of trustworthy messengers maintaining communication between our outposts. They haven't returned. So I want you to go downtown and see why that happened. Could be nothing. But Connor doesn't want any hiccups while he's up there in North Division preparing the attack on Skynet's Central Core. Is there a problem with the radio? The Annihilation Line is within spitting distance of downtown. We suspect that Skynet will be intercepting all transmissions from that location. So for now, we're going radio silent. 
That's why I need you to go there personally. Central core? Skynet's main reactor. The source of all their power. We shut down the central core, we shut down Skynet. Connor's preparing the attack as we speak. So you understand we can't have any critical complications at this stage. If you don't mind me asking, how did you end up here? Excuse me if I act a little surprised, Sergeant. But no one in here thinks it's wise to ask their superior personal questions. But since you did, I'll humor you. So, how did I get here? The same way you did. I was born, raised, then given a gun. We don't really have a say in what we do, do we? Or do I assume too much? Was it any different for you? Hmm? Why do you fight, Sergeant? It's the right thing to do. There's nothing noble in what we do. Humans were fighting humans since the beginning of time. It just so happens that right now we have a common enemy. If it wasn't for the machines, we'd probably be fighting each other. It's not wrong. That doesn't mean we should give up and stop fighting. No. No, it doesn't. I'm just warning you. Don't hold your breath waiting for all this to be over. There will always be another war. Besides, I'm not a fighter. When I go out there in the middle of the night with my Westinghouse, I'm not looking for a fight. I look to seek and conquer. I'm not a fighter. I'm a bully. What's the difference? I don't treat them as equals. And although I know they're just machines, I want them to fear me. No one ever stands up to bullies. But I have to admit, it has its downsides. One of them being that no one ever asks me a personal question. At least not since Perry died. So congratulations, Rivers. It takes guts to stand up to a bully. I guess since your promotion, you got a little more cocky. Good for you. Got him. Anyway, um, let's go downtown. Downtown, when you were lonely and hey, wait, Brian, I've got to ask you. Downtown. Hey Ryan, how's everything? Uh, exactly as you would imagine. Barons keep me busy. They weren't kidding when they said she's a hard ass. What did you hear? A lot of rumors going around of how she's sending insubordinate workers to the front line. And by insubordinate, I mean people who ain't willing to work 18 hours a day. Every day. What happened after you started your camp? Honestly, not that much. At least not in the beginning. When we gave up on the idea of getting in touch with anyone, we just tried to adapt. Temperatures fell, we had to scavenge for food. All of a sudden, that became our life. Didn't you try to reach home? Some people did. Most of us were scared of what we'd find if we did get home, so we conveniently said we are stranded here anyways and stayed. Well, I know how stupid it sounds, but we managed to have fun in our little commune. I still had my guitar with me. We talked a lot about how we're going to be famous, because we're the only living band in the world. You played in a band? I did. One of the few things I was better at than Tucker. He didn't have much talent, but he loved the idea of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Especially the first two. We were just stupid kids, not realizing what was going on. We paid the price for it the first time we saw a tin can. I was tuning my guitar when I heard a strange noise. I found out later that it was a T-400. Must have heard me play. It didn't even have the decency to look scary. Maybe if it did, we wouldn't have just stood there when it started firing. 
What did you do? I froze. I didn't run to help. I didn't scream. I didn't even move. I just stood there, like a coward. A tin can got Tucker with a single bullet. Bam! Just like that. Seven other people died before we finally destroyed that thing. Ironically enough, I was the one who delivered the final blow. Safe to say, it was the beginning of a new era. All right, well, we've talked to him. Everybody's finished. Oh, wait, hold on. Yes, everyone's been talked to. Let's get out to downtown. Downtown. I am sprinting, and you'll bet that I'm printing. Leaving here. Diggity downtown. Yeah. All right, here we are. Take a look at the map. Who knows where it is, but... More wounded! We need a medic over here! I'm telling you, I saw something. You okay, man? What's happening, Private? A couple of aerials flew in and dropped containers full of metals. They started shooting while our defense systems did nothing. What about the doctor? Where's Alvin? He's still out there. All right. There's one more thing. Before I got hit and dragged here, I saw something. I'm not sure, but I think it was one of our own soldiers that led Skynet's attack. Damn. Look after him. Let's give this bad boy a try. Sergeant, we're outnumbered, and they keep bringing more wounded. We don't stand a chance. We have to evacuate. Is Alvin still there? He is, sir. Then we're not leaving. We have to bring him back and see what the hell is going on with those defenses and brief Commander Baron on what's happening here. I'm moving out. You stay here with the wounded. You want me to break the radio silence? At this point, it doesn't matter, does it? Understood. Go ahead, sir. We skipped Corporal altogether. We went from Private right to Sergeant. You two follow me. We have to reach those defense systems. Yes, sir. Come on, fellas. Let's roll. Fighters up ahead. Got it. Lead the way. Wow, that thing got annihilated. Oh, it's a charger. It charges up. Dude, this music's sick. Hell yeah, it makes me want to destroy the Terminators. This way. Good to see you, Sergeant. What's the status? We've got a defensive perimeter set up just down the road. Doesn't seem to be working. Skynet dropped reinforcements behind your back. Now the right, we need to reach our guys. Let's clear the way. Let's clear the way. Holy hell, it takes care of those guys mad fast. It's, all, it's down, I think. It's about to... Grenade out. Ooh, nice grenade. Pipe bomb. You know we did. It takes these guys out so fast. Holy moly. Let's go, guys. Keep it moving. It overloads very quickly. It overheats fast. I think that's the fire rate that I've increased. Now, shoot before it reboots. Ariel, take cover. Ooh, he got some. It's down. Those guys are worth 650 a pop. Not too bad. Where's big boy Bubba? I don't need two of them. Hold on, I don't need. To, I don't need two of them. Hold on, let's drop that. 
Oh, let me see. This is the one we're equipped. The fire rate is kind of screwing us up. So maybe I should do the clip instead. I think that's... Oh, wait. It's disconnected. Why? Oh, those. that has to be a three, doesn't it? Maybe we can move it around. No, that won't work. It's got to be... I got to do stability. I can do another stability. It's not going to be as high. I wish it could be damage. I mean, it is. Let me see. Okay, well, is there anything we can do? Stability with a uh, block on the left? Of course not. I can do a damage. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Tell you what, we'll replace the stability. We'll do that. Good. Let's go. We don't want it overheating as fast. It becomes kind of redundant. So damage has been improved. Wait, one second. Is it still like that? I think I just double boosted the... Let me see, hold on. I double boosted the damage. Yeah, there's two damages. Shots overheat, Dude, extra shots. Cover! Chain reaction. Hold up. Down. Who else? Take that, big boy. That should take him out fully. It's down. There's just so much ammo for us to take. Come in, Alvin. Hang on, buddy. Sergeant, we got this. Go find the dog. Copy. Just wanted a bit of credit. Follow me. We need to rescue the dog before those tanks reach us. Oh, shit. We're too late. They're already here. Oh my god, look at the size of those things. We're gonna need something bigger than this. This is it! Take care of those drones! I love the damage. It's just immense. I love the chain reaction kills, you know what I mean? Damages the guy nearby. It's clear. Wait here. I'll go get the doctor. Grabbing everything we can. It's all good. Ammo up the ass. You okay, buddy? Alvin. Oh my god. I'm actually glad to see you. What happened here? Why are the defense systems not working? They are working, but their target filtering has been reset to non-hostile. One of Baron's messengers came with the order to temporarily change it, so I did. Baron's messengers. We need to leave now. Yes, let's do that. I'm all for that. That was not one of the messengers. That was probably a Terminator. Are you alright? We need to move. You don't have to tell me twice. Escort secured. Oh my god, they dropping bombs. Ah! Oh god. Go! I don't like this. I don't like any of this. I'm right behind you, buddy. Keep moving. Ariel! Go! Move 
Move up. Okay, go. It's turning around. It's right behind us. Don't look back. Good idea. Dude, you gotta run faster. Actually, he's running pretty quick. We made it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash danku8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, danku8000, Instagram, danku8000, and Snapchat, danku8000. You want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, link in the description. You want to save 10% of your next DX Racer, link in the description. Sure to use the promo code danku8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content, but until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylist style. Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack. We still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying. So we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players. Grab your respirators. Night invaders get like sabered. Mass on for the shooters. Move like trash to Bed intruder, got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game. I'm out.